Hey guys, it's been a while since I've done a new Mega Maker video, so uh, why don't we jump in and see a few new levels that I've been working on, as well as some more online levels. This one, this one I just uploaded earlier today. Since a lot of my levels lately have... Oh, shit. Um, I thought I was... Okay. I selected build instead of play, didn't I? Anyways... A lot of the levels I've been making lately have kind of been like, um, reconstructions of pre- of pre-existing levels, which I know some people think that's kind of lazy, but this one's a new one that I've- that I've done. Also, uh, taking advantage of a couple new additions that the latest update made. One of them is the, uh, um, the Karos. Karogs. Which are now you can now set. As well as a new weapon. Um Cerno's perfect freeze. Yeah, you, you fire you fire a spray of these projectiles. When you stop holding the button down, they they stop moving. Basically it is just like the attack Cerno did in uh, Embodiment of Scarlet Devil. Kind of a kind of a strange thing to add to add here, but not an unwelcome one. All of the... All the pole eggs I throw in here... Definitely gives the weapon a chance to shine, too. It's really useful here. First half of this level is going to be a lot of this tricky underwater jumping, plus the uh, all the full legs. That's a bit of a long jump to make, too. Rush, come on.
and now a Yoku block section, because why the hell not? Okay, now this, this requires some pretty, uh, is kind of tricky. But that makes it a little bit easier. Okay, here we are at the end. I added a bit to uh, Toad Man's room just to make him uh, a bit more challenging. But, uh, you know what happens to a Toad when it gets struck by lightning? Same thing that happens to everything else. Nice. Okay, so, uh, one other I wanted to show off here. This is another, uh, sort of recreation of previous level. Iceman's Game Boy level. Although, I, as you can see, I put Metal Man as the boss, because he, I guess, he, I guess I felt he fought the most similarly to Iceman, even though, uh, even though we still don't have any actual ice element robot masters to choose from yet. Oops. Shit. So I put in these collapsing blocks to to mimic those ice blocks that collapse or that, that melt when you stand on them in the original game. And then here I put another Yoku segment. Because in the original game there, there were those falling icicles which I don't have access to here. That second block there I put just as sort of, almost like a Kaizo block, that if you're not careful you can just hit your head on that and then fall in the spikes. But here we are at the end. Not a hard level at all. But hopefully still pretty fun. Okay, let's look online now. My Kaizo. I already have a bad feeling about that one. Super cool and edgy boss fight. No soft boys.
Okay. How edgy is whoa? Okay. Okay, I will admit, that's pretty cool how they, uh... How, how he interacts with the, uh... With the, with the springs. Damn. That makes him hard to hit, too. I think I know what to do. Oh, shit, I'm, I'm still out of, uh, of Magnet Missile. Even though I started at the beginning of the level, so you might as well just... Just, um... Just refill it. Chambers. This must be another one utilizing that perfect freeze weapon. I didn't realize they they gave new music too. They they even uh they even put Cerno's theme in here. <laughs> okay, uh, pr pretty random um, Mega Maker team, but again, not not an unwelcome one. Ooh, I see what this is. was that? Um. Am I supposed to... Is this just a trap? I have a feeling that's a... That room's a trap. Am I supposed to go down? Yeah.
suck at you guys. I got the checkpoint out, mind taking me down there. This level's been interesting. <laughs> really cut, man. <laughs> that that was pretty insane. Haven test. Really? Forgetting, I don't just automatically land on the platform. I... Thank you. 
Yoku blocks. Oh god, oh go oh shit. Okay, we absorbing his uh, night crusher almost caused him to wig out a little bit. Yeah, it puts him in that animation for quite a bit. Not intentional, but pretty good exploit. Omega Flowey. Okay. I'm intrigued as to what this is going to be like. You have an Undertale theme level. What the hell? Um... I, uh, something tells me, uh, pacifist running this isn't gonna work. So I guess there's a fuck you mate part one through three also. Okay, what's this one?
no. <laughs> Teasing you with the, uh, those spheres that can also be, be grabbed to end the level. What? Um, excuse me? Did they, did they put spikes, like, just off, like, just off the screen there? Uh, oh, I see it now. You can, they're those, uh, they're those black spikes that only have, like, the, that, those tiny little reflective pixels. I, I've seen some other Kaizo-type levels that have those. I, they'll put those against a, a dark background. Just to, just to try and fool you. Oh, I, I do only have Mega Buster. Do I need to slide? No. Do I need to get on that that spinny platform? Whoa. Okay then. That, that just takes me back here. Maybe... Ah. There we go. Oh, shit. Fuck you. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Okay, so what, um, what do I do instead? Do I... Ah, yes. <laughs> well, oh, sh oh, you... Yeah, this... This is definitely a troll level. Sh Mark F you again. This way again. No. Okay, they all take me here. I go from here, though. Not sure there's anywhere to go. Is it one of those where they they do all look the same? So. So it 
probably is loopy. Okay, I, I don't know where to go from here. Unless you're supposed to... Unless you're supposed to jump in these in a, in a set order, and it's only looking like they're looping. Let me try one thing. If I, uh... uh... Oh! I thought at first it looked like I scrolled somewhere differently, but I guess not. Well, okay then. I guess, uh... I guess we're gonna end it on this, on this damn troll level. Okay, then. Well, thank you all for watching. I'll see you guys next time.